Yay! It's Friday! Woo! Challenge number nine! Challenge number nine! Today is January 11th, 2019. How's your year? Is it still working out the, the way you were hoping it? If not, I hope that you're setting yourself up for success. Welcome to the Infamous Todd Show. Now, if you've never played this before, I'm going to ask you 10 questions, give you five seconds to answer each of the questions. Oh, InfamousTodd.com. You can go there and watch all of them back to back. Or you can go to YouTube, where they're originally posted. And if you do, I'm begging you, begging you, please, 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 hit the um, subscribe button to show that there's interest in these shows. Please. Just go on YouTube, type in Infamous Todd, or the Infamous Todd Show. It's me. It keeps me out of trouble. It keeps me busy. But in the meantime, let's hurry up and get to the questions. Number one. Okay. <laughs> Back in the day, you could go to any restaurant and say you wanted a medium rare hamburger without getting the look. Or a rare hamburger. Without people be looking at you like you're disgusted. Back in the day, if they undercooked your hamburger... Oh no, let's make this... Today, because of all you people who don't like your burgers uh, bloody <laughs> and red, let me ask you a question. If you have... Um, a, a, a burger and it's delivered to you and there's red stuff coming out. What's that red stuff coming out? What is that red stuff coming out of your burger? Before you throw a fit, you might want to know this. And if you answered blood, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. It's myoglobin. <laughs> That's what helps the white blood cells get around. It has nothing. It's not the blood. <laughs> it's not the blood. And I must admit, I must admit, I did not know this answer. And this is pretty pathetic considering uh, I spent pretty much my entire life in the restaurant field as a chef and a manager and an owner. <laughs> so... We both learned something. Now, I know a bunch of you are probably going to go on your search engines and start looking. But wait till the end. Then you can do it. And then you'll go. Then you can use that as a question to ask somebody else, the next person. Question number two. John Welsh. I mean, uh, Jack Welsh. Jack Welsh ran one of the biggest companies in the United States. He was the CEO and chairman. And he brought the value of this company up. 4,000% during his uh, tenure. What company was he running? Hmm. Hopefully you said GE, General Electric. Isn't it funny watching all these big, huge, massive companies? They're like nothing anymore. Well, I don't think it's funny. Those are lives that were affected. Okay, next question. Who owned the Spruce Goose? Who owned the Spruce Goose? Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes owned the Spruce Goose. Well, in that case, who is Chatty Cathy? Who is Chatty Cathy? She was a doll. She was a doll. Actually, not only was she a doll... She was, after Barbie, she was the second most popular doll in the United States. I don't, I don't think my sisters had a, a chatty Kathy, but I could be wrong. I really wasn't paying attention. I, had, I have millions of sisters. They're like everywhere, like gnats at a, at a picnic. Okay, next question. Next question. What kind of job... Did the one-eyed, one-horned, flying people eater want? What was what was he seeking? What kind of job was this man looking for? Well, it wasn't a man. It wasn't a man. It was a one-eyed, one-horned, flying people people eater. He wanted to be a rock and roll star. He wanted to be a rock and roll singer. 
What, okay, uh, what was unsafe at any speed? What was unsafe at any speed? Now, according to Ralph Nader and his book and the movement that followed that, <laughs> that helped destroy, helped destroy <laughs> many car brands, it unsafe at any speed was a car, an automobile. Okay, now, Quick Draw McGraw. What, what, what kind of animal was Quick Draw McGraw? Hmm. As you can tell, it's starting to get dark out here. It's going down and up and stuff. It's not that it's getting dark. It's the weather's getting nasty. And the answer for this was... He was a horse. Here's a fun one. What was the name of the witch on H.R. Puffin Stuff? H.R. Puffin Stuff. Can't get can't get can't get Who is the witch? Oh, Wilmanina? What was her last name? We should have known this. It was Witchy Poo. Witchy Poo. And the last, the last question for today, and then I'm off for the weekend, is which day is Prince Spaghetti Day? Which day is Prince Spaghetti Day? It's a Wednesday. It was Wednesday, it was Prince Spaghetti Day, and today is Friday, which means I am off for the weekend, and I will see you back on Monday. On Monday, I remind you again that all the episodes up until now are at infamoustod.com, infamoustod.com, or you can please, please go to YouTube and please like our station. <laughs> or channel or whatever they call it. <laughs> Talk to you later. I'm the infamous Todd. Bye.